again, I'm recording this like five days into the season. So I don't know where you are right now. Uh, it's been a rebuilding two decades. Welcome back everyone, be shorty because take me out to the ball game, take me out to the crowd, buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks, I don't care if I ever come back, so just root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame, for it's one, two, three strikes are out at the old ball game. Today, well, this may be misleading, but baseball started, yay! Um, baseball is my favorite American pastime, I, although I do like hockey and um, occasionally football, but... The Mariners started the season somewhat strong. Regardless, uh, today is not about baseball. Today is about National Pigs in a Blanket Day, which admittedly you don't really see at baseball parks. But if you're at a sporting event uh, hosted by your friend, a sports viewing, if you will, uh, you might occasionally see some hot dogs wrapped up in some goodness. Man, do we have a treat for you today. We're going to be making Rewind Fancy as f**k. Pigs in Blanket. Let's take it away. We'll be using Hebrew National All Natural Uncured Beef Franks for this recipe. Open the package and slice down the center of each hot dog, but leave enough uncut to not split them completely. Next, put the hot dogs in a bag. Add red wine. I used Rewind Pinot Noir, which is on the oaky side. Seal the bag and refrigerate for four hours or longer to allow the flavors to marinate. Slice the brie into hot dog size slices. Insert brie into the hot dog slit. Then roll them in Pillsbury Sweet Hawaiian Crescent Rolls and place them on a baking tray. Bake at 375 for 9 to 12 minutes or until golden brown. And now back to the studio. And we're back. Uh, sorry, I forgot to hit um, record when I was doing the rolling <laughs> together so you get to see B-roll from camera one. Wasn't that fun? Um, I also dropped them as I was putting them in the oven, so on the door. So I'm gonna have to clean really hard. But I thought you'd want to see the final specimen. Doesn't that look good? Now I got the Hawaiian sweet rolls because I'm gonna go sweet, savory, and play off of each other really well. I'm excited to see how the wine soaked hot dogs did. The uncured wine soaked hot dogs. Cheers. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. There's a lot going on at once. The wine has permeated the hot dog a little bit. So you get like bursts of uh, red wine notes. Uh, it was a lighter red, it was a Pinot, but then it had some oak to it, which plays off of a little, the smokiness of the meat. And then the sweet of the Hawaiian roll balances out with the savory. And then the brie just kind of just caps it all off. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Salty, sweet, savory. Oh, wow. You get three of those major tastes, and it's just it's a bit overwhelming, but it's delicious. Yeah, that mm, the baked brie in into the hot dog. Rewind strikes again with another excellent wine recipe. Uh, if you need instructions, they're in the comments below. Uh, and if not, hop over to YouTube via RewindShow.com. It is in the description. Let me know if you enjoy Pigs in a Blanket. If you don't, what do you eat or what do you serve that is fun yet slightly sophisticated? I want to know. Thank you for joining me on another Wind Down Wednesday. Another wine recipe put to bed. Thank you so much. This has been Rewind. My name is B. Schwitty. Go Mariners! 
and I'll catch you next time. Thank you.